All right, so this thing has been going viral for some time, I think from yesterday, and it's kind of sad for me. It was actually necessary for it to come out, but then when you look at it in the aspect of empathy, it's quite sad that this person has been revealed in that light. So there's a policeman in a uniform, drunk, in Cape Coast. So let's watch that video and then we come back. Police <laughs> Yeah, police bar. Yeah, police bar. I'll put you. Police in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll put you. Police in it. Got a police. Oh, I'll show you from Wild Boot Capcos. Oh, Capcos, Capcos. Capcos, no, I'll put you. Police in it. Police bar, I'll put him. Wow, boo. Nipper page my own yabby. Nipper page my yabby. On your way protocol. I know the approach on the protocol. Got a boy, I'm kind of for the protocol. When you ask. Protocol with your brother, Kojima. Huh? Police in the park, got a police. Wow, boot chop. Show a shatter of a bono, show to me. All right. So I, I actually kind of feel sad that the person recording was able to like record direct without, you know, feeling bad about it or anything of that sort. But in some ways, I think that it, the truth needed to come out. But was it the right system for it to go through? Or was it something that, you know, somebody just meeting something that he thinks hey this will go viral let me just record it and put it out there or he really did care and if he really did care did he try the system or maybe they've been complaining all along in cape coast and it has been to no avail but i doubt that if you do see it as you know this is a person whose image has been put out in the light it's quite empathetic but then if you also see it as somebody who is a policeman knows his responsibility and is in a uniform and has gone drunk while on duty it's weird yes ghana police has responded to it they are going to investigate the matter and they're also going to put him through the system of the ghana police medical board for them to reassess him like in terms of psychology and all that and if they are proving to be somebody that you know needs to go on rehabilitation for some time and all that obviously and after that to approve him back as a policeman they will do that but I'm sure for somebody like IGP Dampari who is in charge and really wants the police system in Ghana to be one of the best in the world, I believe them to do the right thing since IGP Dampari is in charge. So yeah, that's it. Today is more of like, you know, morals and ethics concerning this kind of stuff. And the next video is also just like that. You know, how do you feel about it? Was it bad for the guy to video it like that and just put it on the internet? Could he have used another method? Obviously he could have and all that. You know, what do you think about that? Right. Let's just get it.